students welcome you all in the next lecture of science now you know that from next week your exam is starting so today we are taking revision i am taking the revision lecture in the revision lecture i will discuss workbook exercise so that you can complete it also if you not completed and you will come to know about all the questions in the workbook okay so let us start now so chapter number 4 disaster management and we are starting with workbook exercise for the same so question number 1 here is fill in the blanks from that first one dash planning and dash is required to reduce damage caused by natural or man made disasters so the answer is emergency planning and management write the two words emergency and management okay second one dash occur in hilly areas due to cloud burst in or heavy rains so answer is landslides in hilly areas landslides occur third one change in the direction of the flow of rivers is caused due to earthquake fourth a frequently occurring natural disaster in all parts of the world is floods because these are earthquake and all they do not happen at all the places but floods that means the collection of water takes place nearly in each and every part of the world fifth one forest fires cause great damage to natural wealth and biodiversity biodiversity means variety in animals and plants because of fire they get burned they are destroyed sixth one when we work in the sun continuously for a long time we may get a sunstroke the answer is sunstroke seventh one storms can cause disruption of electric supply that means the electric supply can be cut off because of the storms next question number 2 write whether the following statements are true or false first one forest fires can cause air pollution true because when there is a fire smoke comes out so it's a true statement next there is a great damage in the storm affected regions again it is true because of star storms there is a great damage next there is no need for disaster management so immediately you can say that this statement is false because there is a need of disaster management we should do the management for the disasters fourth one after the floods receive people's health improves this is also a false statement because when the floods receded because of the accumulation of water and uh, because of the microorganisms here there is a chances that the diseases may spread so people health do not improve okay this is a false statement next due to mining the chances of earthquake increase true it is true because when we do mining we go deep inside the crust of the earth and therefore the chances of earthquake they increase next what are the emergency contact numbers of the following these are given in your textbook So for police control room it is hundred, fire brigade one hundred and one, ambulance one hundred and two, national level single emergency number or disaster relief number two numbers are there one zero eight and one hundred and twelve, and lastly file uh, child helpline, child helpline is one zero nine. Okay, so you have to keep the, in mind these numbers. so that you can use them in case of natural disasters next question number 4 write the causes of the following now here some answers are given in your textbook some are not given so here all the answers are given by me i hope you must have completed them in the workbook also so the first one is flood so what are the reasons here when there is excessive rain in the same place in a short span of time then a river may overflow its banks in cities water drainage system falls short the gutters or the drainage lines are choked 
this result in overflow of water on the roofs and surrounding areas. In this way, the floods are caused. Okay, so these are the reasons for the floods. Second, forest fire. The carelessness of someone can initiate the fire in the forest. If there is excessive heat and the branches of tree rub against each other causing friction, then naturally it can lead to forest fires. Okay? Then if there is a dry foliage in the forest and the winds are blowing at the speed, the forest fires spray very rapidly. So these are the reasons. Generally the reason is what the wind. Wind is uh, the reason and because of that the friction between the branches of the trees take place. So that can be the reason for the forest fire. Third one landslides or building collapse it is given together. So for both we are writing the combining answer here. The vibrations in the earth crust result in the earthquake and this vibration can cause collapse of buildings means what earthquake is a one reason for building collapse okay similarly the second reason is what if the inferior material is used for the construction then there is a chance of collapse of building and for the landslides we have seen for landslides what is the reason due to the excessive rains or cloud bursting landslide can take place especially in hilly areas okay Next, storms. Okay, storms as this given in textbook. The formation of high and low pressure bays in the atmosphere result in changes of weather. These pressure bays cause strong winds resulting in storms. Last is here earthquake. For earthquake reasons you know, in the interior of the earth there is a tremendous amount of energy. You know that the interior part of the earth is in the liquid state and continuously there are movements. So there is a tremendous energy and this energy result into the seismic waves and this causes movement of earth surface in the form of tremors, shaking and cracking. The vibration caused due to all these movement result into the earth. Okay. Then next question, question number 5. What first aid will you provide in the following situation? The answers are given in textbook. First one is dog bite. So whenever there is a dog bite, you should clean the wound caused by the dog bite. It should be washed with soap and you should clean it with the germ-free water. Then you should rinse with the solution of potassium permanganate. Okay. Next is the wound should be covered with a dry cloth and victim should be taken to the doctor for dressing the wound. Injection of anti-rabies should be given to the victim because you know that rabies is a deadly disease. So the anti-rabies injection should be immediately given to the victim. So these are the first steps you can do in case of dog bite. Second is scratches or bleeding. If you get hurt somewhere and if the bleeding is there, what you are, you are going to do? The very first thing to be done in case of bleeding is to stop it. Means what we should try to stop the bleeding. Like we apply the turmeric immediately. We know that turmeric helps to stop the bleeding. So what we can do here is we have to make that person sit or lie down comfortably and the bleeding part should be cleaned with germ free water and it should be kept above the level of the heart so that the flow of the blood will be will be less there okay uh, we should stop that flowing of blood so it should be kept above the heart because you know that circulation of uh, blood takes place through heart only so if we are keeping that part above the level of the heart it can help to stop the bleeding then next apply antiseptic cream to the wound if the wound is deep, rush to the doctor to stitch it and get proper care. Because if the wound is deep, the blood is not going to stop. And because of the loss of the blood, the condition can become fatal. So immediately we should rush the patient to the hospital if the wound is deep. 
next is burns or scar so burns can be serious they can be uh, light also means they are they may not be so severe so what you should do in case of burns and scars so first of all you should try to understand the severity of the burning that what we should see that what uh, what is the extent and severity of the burning if it is not that severe we can treat the patient at home also but if the burns are severe we have to go to hospital immediately so for minor burns we can immerse the burn part into the cold water then we can give cold water to drink to the victim then we can clean the wound with germ free water and we can apply antiseptic solution here but here in case of burns we have to keep in mind that oily ointment should not be applied okay because that uh, because of oily uh, uh, ointments the heat gets trapped inside the skin only so we should not apply oily uh, ointments and if there are serious burns we have to give emotional support to that patient or victim and we should seek the medical treatment immediately next is next is snake bite you know that out of the snakes here or which are there on the earth very less snakes are venomous means they are poisonous most of the snakes are non poisonous okay so here we don't understand uh, by seeing whether the snake is poisonous or not so what we should do in that case in, in case of the snake bite also we should wash the wound with water and we have to tie a torquenet means what we have to try a cloth sweep near the wound in such a way that the venom of the bite should not reach to the vital organs means what we should try to slow down the spread of the poison in the body then the victim should be given the emotional support and immediately the victim should be taken to the hospital and immediately he should be given anti venom injection as we have seen in dog we are giving anti rabies here we have to give anti venom injection so that we can stop the spreading of the poison next sunstroke sunstroke you know that when we work in some sun for very long time then we can get the sunstroke so what to do in this case we have to take the patient in the shade or in the cool place we have to wipe the body with cold water and we have to keep the wet cloth on the neck and the head so that the heat can be absorbed then we should give that person to drink water plenty of water or we can give sherbet to avoid the dehydration if the person is feels is feeling like vomiting we should made him or her to lie on her abdomen with the head turned to the one side okay so that that feeling of vomiting will not be there so this is what we can do in case of sunstroke then question number 6 short questions here here first one is what is meant by disasters the answer is given in textbook a sudden event causing large scale damage to life property and social aspects of our nation or society is called a disaster second one what are the types of disasters types of disasters you know that they are of two types man made and natural third one what is made by disaster management this answer also is given in textbook taking proper steps to prevent disasters and making plans to face the likely disasters and developing the capacity of tackling such situations is called disaster management fourth one which are the main components of disaster management so there are two main components first is planning and second is executing the plan in case of disaster okay so planning and the execution of plan are the two main components of disaster management the question number 5 a uh, work of sarpamitra which you can write by yourself also sarpamitra are the volunteers who help to save snakes if people come across any snake in their vicinity they usually kill even before they come to know about its toxicity as i said that very less snakes are toxic here or poisonous but still people have a tendency to kill the snakes as soon as they see them so what sarpamitra are doing they are doing they are going to such places they capture the snakes rescue them relocate them 
and release them back into their natural habitats. That means in forest. Then Sarvamitra create awareness about the snakes. Try to remove the myths associated with snakes and explain the importance of snakes. During the festivals of Nag Panchami, if the snakes are seen to be abused, they rescue these snakes too and educate the snake charms. Okay? So this is the work of Sarpamitra. They try to save snakes, try to relocate them and they try to educate the people about the snakes. Then next question number 7. Write down the effects of the following disasters. So here also some effects are given in textbook. Okay, first is earthquake. Because of earthquake, there is a large scale damage of life and property. Second is building collapse due to tremors and vibrations in earth's crust. Third is direction of flow of river can be changed. Rivers can be changed. This is mistake here. Please note that. Destruction of infrastructure such as buildings, bridges, roads and railway tracks. Okay, so these are the effects of earthquake. Because the structure of the land is changing because of the earthquake, that is why all these things are happening. Second is floods. Then because of floods, there is a huge loss of property and life. Then erosion of soil takes place because the soil blow away with the water. It goes away with the water. Standing crops are destroyed. Epidemics of infectious diseases may spread after the flood receded, as we have seen in the true or false that after the floods the people's health is not improving it is creating the health problem because of the infectious diseases epidemics correct next is storm the low lying areas and the coastal areas face lot of destruction you know that storms means it is very strong winds they are so they uh, give they because of that there is a lots of destruction which is taking place Life and property is damaged, electric supply get disrupted, transport and communication is affected, trees and crops are uprooted because of the strong winds and peoples are stranded in one place. They get stuck in one place. Next is forest fires. The forest cover is reduced to ashes because of fire. Okay, the forest cover is reduced. Second is the wild animals are also killed due to the fire. Biodiversity is tremendously lost. Means what variety of animals and planets, uh, plants they are lost. Surrounding human settlements are too destroyed because of the fire. And the uh, most important effect is air pollution. Because of the smoke coming out of the forest, there is an air pollution. Then the next are open-ended questions which are very big and here the answers you can write by yourself also. Okay. So from that the first one is what disasters can occur in school or on the way to school. When I taught the lesson I discussed all this that when you come to school we can we have to be very careful especially when crossing the road. Because carelessness can lead to the accidents. Then next, while commuting in the school bus, we may get injured. Or if we don't follow the certain discipline there. That means what if bus is standing unnecessarily and if the sudden brakes are applied, then you can fall also. So there are cause chances of accidents here also. Then if it is raining heavily, you may get stranded somewhere. You may get stuck somewhere. Okay. So here... In such cases, we should not believe strangers and we should not go with them. It can lead to kidnapping also. Then the people with criminal tendencies, terrorists, etc. can cause harm to us. So we need to be alert all the time. Okay, this is what can be happen when you are coming to school, on the way to school. Now during the school hours, natural calamity can strike at any time. Like in laboratories. We need to perform experiments carefully and smartly so that accidents will not happen. If we do not follow the instructions properly, if we are careless, then it, we may go into the dangerous situation causing the damage to laboratory. Also, we can get injured on the playground. This is what can happen in school. Okay. 
then the next question is related to that only that what you are going to do to deal with such disasters according to you what can be done to deal with such disasters so what you will do here we should always behave with responsibility and care we should travel safely we should follow all the instructions here in case of any untoward happening here we should immediately inform our elders or to the police if anyone is injured we should immediately help him or her with the first aid later they should be taken to the medical treatment and we must always remember the contact numbers of emergency services which have we have seen correct so you should know those numbers next suggest remedial measures for dealing with natural or man made disasters okay so first one is fire what you can do in case of fire care should be taken so that fire will not break out first of all this care we should take in jungle never leave a burning matchstick okay in jungle or wherever possible never leave a burning matchstick if there is fire call for fire brigade immediately it is dangerous to manage the situation of fire by ourselves so we should call fire brigade we need to take a proper help of fire brigade and if the fire is small it is not that we it is not that severe we can make use of fire extinguishers so that we can put off the fire okay next is collapse of building if the building is collapsing we should immediately call to fire brigade here then immediate efforts should be done to save the people trapped under the debris without hurting them further first aid should be given to the injured people seriously injured people should be taken to hospitals then next is road accident third one is road accident then what we should do in case of road accident that the victim should be immediately taken to the hospital or dispensary we have to inform police because it's a accident and then we should not crowd at that place instead of crowding at the incident site incident sites we should immediately try to help the victim now we see that many people they just stand there they see there nowadays it's a tendency that they do the mobile shooting instead of helping so we should not do that we should try to help okay next is flood okay what we have to do in case of floods before the flood water rises the dangerous levels stranded people and animals should be safely removed from there so that they will not drown there so we should remove them immediately one should carefully listen to the news and forecast of meteorological department and act accordingly this is we have seen that what we should do in case of the natural disasters that always we should listen to the news and forecast by meteorological department then help others to rescue people stranded in the low lying areas we have to always help others to overcome the situation next is wars so wars they take place generally at the borders correct but their effects are there on the entire nation so during such emergency time we should not spread rumors and also we should not believe the rumors follow the orders of the police force and other agencies that are helping us for our safety and the important thing is that religious discords should not be entertained we should be united at the time of war we should be united for our nation the next is bomb explosion so here nowadays the threat of bomb explosion is increasing we have experienced it in mumbai also so in last two decades the threat of bomb explosion is increasing due to terrorist activities therefore we should be always alert we should not touch any unattended article seen in a public place instead we should immediately inform the police or ats anti terrorist squad and in a uh, case of the calamity of bomb bomb explosion we should help injured people okay it is our duty to help the injured people next earthquake earthquake we have discussed many times 
so what we should do after earthquake that we should understand the intensity of the earthquake due because of the instrument of seismograph we can understand the intensity that how much severe the earthquake is you know that due to uh, how the seven richter scale it is very severe due to advances in scientific studies the warning about the earthquakes are given in advance so we should be ready for such disasters so that damage to the property and life is reduced next is deluge okay so the meteorological department again gives warning about the deluge that is likely to occur in the near future deluge means what again it's a accumulating of water only okay where the water accumulates in low lying area so we should be away from the river banks or low lying areas in such cases people residing in such area should be shifted before the calamity strikes because if there is heavy rain and there is there is going to be deluge we come to know about in advance and here uh, there are camps and in that in the camps the affected people can go there and there the provision of food packets water and medicine is there so the people they can be safe there so people residing in the low lying areas should be shifted to such camps then the next is storm so here also from the meteorological department we can get the advance warning about the storms so it can be given to the people before the calamity strikes then in storms if the large trees are uprooted okay so we should take care that uh, we should not take shelter near such trees or poles also the electric supply can be disrupted hence we should think of the alternative arrangement we should keep our batteries mobiles and all the optional sources fully charged so that we can use them one should remain in safe places in case of storms next is tsunami see the waves of tsunami can cause great damage especially to the coastal regions and on the islands therefore to avoid such areas and one should go to the safer place here also the warning of tsunami can be given in advance by the meteorological department so we should avoid such areas and we should go to the safer place there then drought drought is a condition where there is a shortage of water so in drought condition food and water are scarce therefore these basic necessities are provided from the other area the drought prone people and cattle are brought to the camps and taken care of survival of cattle is also the most important task that has to be done by the people because in drought there is a scarce or you can say shortness of water and food so we should take care of our cattle people and cattle they should be taken to the camps next is landslide landslide may cause due to the excessive rains or outbursts this we have seen also it is uh, it is taking place in the hilly areas so in such situation we should be away from the regions where there are the chances of landslides or which the regions which may be the threat of landslide so we should stay away from this okay, so with this we have completed all the question answers of chapter number 4 now let us discuss some questions from chapter number 5 so that in the next lecture i can discuss remaining questions from chapter number 5 and question number 6 okay so next is chapter number 5 substances in the surrounding the states and properties okay so the first question here is fill in the blanks first one characteristic properties of substances depend on its physical state and the arrangement of particles in a properties characteristics properties are because of the physical state and the arrangement of properties second one solid state has a definite shape of own you know that liquid and gaseous state is not having a definite shape only solid state is having a definite shape third one now what is digital thermometers are frequently used the correct answer is digital fourth one water is continuously evaporating 
at all the temperature water is evaporating means what converting from liquid state to gaseous state fifth one solid carbon dioxide is called dry ice okay sixth one ability to return to its original shape is called as elasticity the property of substance called as elasticity seventh one metals like gold can be drawn into wires due to the property of ductility you know that ductility means drawing into wires and malleability means what we can make a thin sheets these are the properties of metals then second question where there is one word wrong and you have to correct that word first question is boiling of water means sublimation so the sublimation is the wrong word in place of that you are going to write ebullition correct next this substance has a specific condensation point which is same as melting point so again here the word condensation is wrong replace it by freezing point because you know that freezing point and melting point is same next sand is melted to make wax so wax word is wrong cut it and write down glass there so sand is melted to make glass fourth one to check whether the white powder is salt or chalk powder we use the property of hardness as a confirmatory test so see hardness is not possible which is the property solubility so that hardness word should be replaced by solubility fifth one upon heating the crystals of iodine they convert into liquid you know that iodine is a sublimating substance so it converts directly to vapor so cut that word liquid and write there vapor or rewrite it sixth one liquids flow down the slope this property is called as transparency so liquids flow downward to slope and this property is called as fluidity so cut that word transparency and write the word fluidity there okay then question number 3 which is very easy you can see the answers here just in front of that particular substance you have to write whether it is solid liquid or gas so ball is solid here water is liquid breeze means wind it is gas then rain is liquid house is solid clothes are solid cup is solid and milk is liquid in this way you can write down all the states here that is solid liquid or gas next is who am i i am found in thermometer i measure temperature you know that we use mercury in thermometer so correct answer is what mercury second i make things hot or cold so heat is a factor responsible for the coldness or hotness so answer is heat i have no shape whatsoever so just now we have seen that liquid and gas they do not have shape only solid is having shape so answer is what liquid and gas i dissolve in water but not in kerosene the answer is salt okay so in this way we have discussed few questions from the chapter number 5 also there are more questions but those questions now i will discuss in the next lecture so students till that time you stay home you stay here stay safe and study for your third online assessment all of you know the portion chapter number 4 5 and 6 read all the chapters properly by hearting only the questions from the workbook will not help you you know that sir some questions can be asked from the textbook also so reading will help you so all of you please keep the habit of reading go through all the chapters read them once read them twice and try to understand and study well for your exams thank you students